this is Red Band, coming to you live from Cobb's Comedy Company for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. San Francisco, you can do better than that. Make some fucking noise. This is it. Wow. This is fucking exciting. Brian Redband is here. What is up? Hey, look at that. Oh, underneath the first picture all the way to the left on the black wall, that's Ryan J.E. Bell drawing tonight's oh, he's episode. Right over there. Look at him. This is like we're in Los Angeles. This is Kill Tony Mania. Yes. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> shit. This is fucking chaos. How many of you were at the first show by any chance? Wow. wow. I mean, that is just unbelievable. The loyalty and fucking the getting it of that this audience gets it is high levels. High levels of getting it. High levels. You know, sometimes you have a big show like that, like this, the first ever, episodes 300 and 301 of the number one live podcast in the world. The first ever, 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 out of all the places we've done it, all around Montreal, Toronto, New York City, San Francisco five times, Florida, Nashville, Fort Wayne, Cincinnati, Cleveland, New York, New York, New York, over and over again. We've never done two in one night. This is a special, special happening. And... Uh, to be honest with you, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that a lot of you were at the first show because then you'll get to really appreciate the fact of exactly how many surprises and how much fun stuff we have planned for you through the entire night. Uh, you know, a, lot, a big show like this, a lot of people get anxious, they get uncomfortable. You know what helps me? CBD. Yeah. Without a doubt. You might be wondering, what is CBD? Well, let me tell you, it's 100% legal, a natural ingredient taken from hemp plants, and it helps keep your body's endocannabinoid system balanced. Basically, CBD gives you all the benefits of marijuana without getting high. Uh, chronic pain, inflammation, anxiety, and more. And about 42% of CBD users have stopped using traditional medication. Can you guys believe that? How fucking cool is yeah. that? This day and age where so many places people are affected by all these crazy pain Instead pills. Instead of Tylenol or taking pills for like a neck pain or a back pain, just rub some CBD on your neck. It's great. And I mean, clearly, you know, they're a sponsor of the show. And you think that, you know, it's one of those things to where, oh, they say that because they get paid for that, right? But really, truly, I mean, CBD is totally changing a lot of the people in my life's problems. Yeah. My wife has scoliosis. You can't tell that she has it because it's one of those sideways scoliosis that doesn't come out. You can't really. Yeah, don't say you, lady. All right. <laughs> my wife is fucking so much hotter than you. So why don't you shut up? Anyway. She has a bad thing that you can't tell. Maybe you should have listened a little closer. You can't fucking tell unless you're looking at an x-ray. Uh, because, uh, because, and you know, and a thing that she told me is that unlike this lady, you know, my wife never complains about the pain that she's in. Right. You know, she, my, literally, my wife never complains. And then one day she rubbed the CBD stuff one night before bed. She rubbed it on that part of her back. She woke up and she's like, Tony, I don't have pain for the first time in my life. She's Australian, by the way. That's amazing. That's amazing. And it's really fucking cool. And uh, you can get the best CBD possible right now from InfinitCBD.com. Uh, use the promo code TONY15, and you get 15% off any purchase. You need to rub some. Perhaps, lady, you could rub some on your forehead. You know what I mean? Get that fucking brain activated. Come on. Your boyfriend's laughing at this. Cheer up. <laughs> I, I know this is going to be a fucking fun show tonight. This crowd is hype. They want blood. They're already happy that I'm making fun of this eight that's in the front row. Uh, wow, that's nice. Well, it's nice, but she thinks she's a nine and a half, so eight's really an insult. See, sometimes an insult doesn't have to make the whole crowd go woo. It like It's just really made for one person, you know it's what I mean? It's realistic. You say you about anything <laughs> that has to do with my wife, that's what you fucking get, lady. Damn. I'm hot to trot. Yeah. I'm hyped up on fucking sugar-free Red Bull and whiskey and yeah. fucking pot. <sighs> CBD? Yes. I have CBD <laughs> running through my veins. Use the promo code right now, Tony15, and say 15% off CBD. You guys ready to get into this damn thing or what? 
It's a different show than show one. Let's jump right into the band. On this show, every single episode, they commit to being different characters. I never know what they're going to be. The people that were at show number one know that they were a combination of uh, Mariachi, Cholos, and Jolena yeah. made an appearance Jolina. here. The legendary Jolena. And mm. I don't know what they're going to be this episode. Hopefully they changed quick. Make some noise for the best damn band in the land. It is Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Uh, um, okay. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I really, truly don't know what you guys are supposed to be. Compu we're, we're app developers from Silicon Valley. Oh, wow. wow. There we go. Wow. All right. That's a special one. This is the first time we've had app developers on the show ever. Uh, how you doing? Doing good, Tony. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> You live here in San Francisco? I work here in San Francisco. <laughs> oh. I, I live in Oakland. <laughs> I don't even know why that's funny, but it worked. Well, the rent's cheaper there, Tony. Oh. oh. Black well, people. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Um, man. And it appears as if though Chroma Chris, who always, I guess I'm just realizing now, he's always looked like an app programmer. Uh... <laughs> I guess that's why I couldn't quite tell what you, how, what you were. How are you doing tonight, Chroma Chris? You I'm rarely not. talk, but uh, it appears as though the uh, lead singer and saxophonist to the band Jeremiah is running a little bit late. I'm still developing, Tony. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. Tony, I didn't, know, I didn't know Weezer was playing here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wow, I got that. it. Oh, shit. Chroma Chris knows how to get the ladies wet. <laughs> Especially ladies in their late 30s from the early 90s. Uh, Weezer. Uh, hell yeah. So, uh, all right. Um, I guess. Uh, Go into it. All right. Let's just jump right into it, right? I have a bucket filled with comedians' names. This is crazy. Many more people signed up for show number two than show number one. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Now, Jeremiah really does look like an app developer. This is incredible. Jeremiah, you're a little bit late. What's going on? <laughs> I just had a meeting with Steve Jobs after the grave. After Still in communication. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. You seem like you have a style. You've, can you, you know any apps that you could tell us that uh, you've developed? What's your uh, specialties or anything like yep. that? Yep. Uh, Boober. Uh, it's a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I can uh, locate any boobs in the 300-foot uh, radius from me, and then I can uh, request a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> See, let me just let you guys in on something. For example, like right then, since I don't know what characters they're going to be, uh, when I do say something like, uh, have you developed any apps lately or anything like that, like that's a hard question, and that's incredible. Boober. Yeah, hard. I, uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway. Some fellow uh, boober uh, app users in the crop? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, so I'm excited about this. This is the first time we've ever had app developers on. How about that? Make some noise for your very own San Francisco's own app developers. I'm fucking pumped about this. And I'd like to sign up for boober. You're not on that? It mm -hmm. seems like something you'd be on immediately. You don't need an app for that. I see tits right now. Are you looking at your own? No. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have a bucket filled with comedians' names. If I pull your name out of the bucket, maybe it's a comedian that's been doing it 35 years. Maybe it's somebody's first time ever. You never know what's going to happen. I talk to them afterwards. You know your set is up, your 60 seconds that you get uninterrupted when you hear the sound of a liberal pussy. <laughs> that means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the Castro District Bear. <laughs> a very special San Francisco episode. You guys ready to start this shit or what? <laughs> to the bucket we go, San Francisco. We had an amazing first show. Lots of uh, fun times, meltdowns, compelling. We learned some stuff. We went through death and life together, highs and lows. We fixed the sound quite a bit. A little. 
I'm pumped about this. Your first comedian going first tonight. Make some noise. Getting the party started. Your very own Dan Jose. Here we go. And so it begins. Episode 301 Dan of Kill Jose. Tony. Here he comes. He's excited. Waving his hand. One more time for Dan Jose. Thanks. It's going to be like sucking a bag full of cocks. All right. Uh, where are my Asians at? My people. Okay, now where are my Filipinos at? Okay. 408 in the house? All right. Yeah, fuck the 415. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hey, uh, I got a joke for you, uh, app developers. 1001. One. <laughs> Just fucking with you. Uh, my wife, she's a gamer. She ran off with a nine year old this week. Who the fuck? My wife? Yeah, she not, ran off with a nine year old, so, uh, uh, oh fuck. <laughs> There's the camera for YouTube up there in the corner, by the way. Uh. Wow, there you go. Uh, Dan Jose. All right. All right. It looks like you think it went better than it did. No, you're giving Tony. off that vibe that you're pretty happy with tonight's performance. I'm not, Tony. It's one of the first comedy sets in which I've really just seen somebody come out and just really take a census. Uh... Where are my Caucasians at? How about my Asians? Latinos? All right, my job here is done. Thank you. African Americans? Hell yeah. Uh, Dan Jose. Um, from San Jose. Wow. Okay, very good. Like, everything is about where you're from and area codes and <laughs> shit. Again, he, like, still, you really are. You really are sort of a weird dude. Um, how old are you? I'm actually 43. You're actually 43. Yes. Oh. I know. What and do you think you look like? Uh, <laughs> a lot younger. I saw I saw a couple friends at uh, outside, and I know they recognized me from ten years ago. You I think changed. you think you look younger? I think so. Man, you have the same problem as this lady does right here in the front row. Ah, oh, you thought it was done. Ew! Ew! Scoliosis! Ew! This is all night, baby. We got a lot of show left. I am soulless. <laughs> and still, again, your, your boyfriend seems to be having fun. So when he stops laughing, maybe I'll slow down a little bit. But he keeps cracking up. I don't think he likes you that much. Uh, Dan. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sweetheart, by the way. I love you. I love you. All right. Just relax. Uncross your arms. Have fun. Relax. Uh, so, Dan, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Boober alert. Boober not, alert. Not <laughs> oh, shit. Dan, how long have you been doing stand-up? This is a uh, first time, long time. Hey, long time, wait, first time. wait, wait. You said first time, and then you said long no. time. What long does that time mean? Listener, That's his real name. Stand up. There you go. Long time listener, first time stand up comedian. Fuck yes. Well, there you go. It's your first time. Uh, one piece of advice uh, uh, that I would give is don't come up and first say this is going to suck a bag of dicks or whatever you said because we believed you, and then you. F- Proceeded. I mean, at least a bag of dicks. Like people, someone's having fun, right? And then you did you see how he did like the karate, like air kicks, also? Yeah. Like what was that? It's like, like you. Did you think you won a prize or something yeah, like that? that? Was for my people, Tony. Well, wait, let me guess. Which are which ones are your people? <laughs> the Latinos, the Asians, the Caucasians? Oh. A little bit of everything. Yeah. The people in San Jose. Whoa. Whoa. I'm from the 402. Watch out. The 415, the 512. Who's with me, everybody? All right. Who loves America and oxygen and water? All right. Fishing birds war all day. <laughs> Did I ask you what you do for work? No, you didn't. Okay. There you go. I, uh, I'm a counselor at a high school. <laughs> See? Now I like you. Uh, what, uh, what do you mean? You're like a guidance counselor? Or just no, like a, a therapy kind of counselor. Oh, therapy. Tony, I just got an alert. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pedophile jokes, huh? Wow. <laughs> well, that's fun, man. So uh, you help kids out a lot. Yeah, I'm a professional liar. Yeah. 
What, is, what do you mean by that? I try to help them as best I can, but eventually they have to go back home. So, have you had a have you had a bad case happen? Have you had anybody like kill themselves or something like that? No, or, uh, not a kid, but parents. You know. Really, parents yeah, have killed themselves yeah, yeah. to students that you've had. Yeah, some uh, some kids that witnessed the trauma, like. Of, oh. uh, yeah. Man, that's horrible. That yeah. is horrible. Anybody, uh, uh, any any interesting ways of killing themselves? You know what? I it's just regular, old boring ways like pills and things like. That. Yeah, any fucking good fucking splatter. You know what I'm talking about, dude? Any of the fucking good old like big toe fucking shotgun to the mouth? Did it? Did it? Did any of them die holding their breath in a uh, under, going under a tunnel? Wow. Our, what the fuck? The Robin Williams. Did they? Robin it was a great Williams. joke, and I honestly, I loved the fact that you had a stroke halfway through, Joel Berg. Uh, I've been, honestly, I've been staring at a computer screen all day. It was a malfunction. It won't happen again. Oh. We're going to work the bugs out of this program, Tony. So, Dan, you seem like a nice guy. You're really happy. I mean, for a, for a first set, it was, you know, fine, totally cool. I mean, a lot better than most people's first sets. Uh, so let me ask you this. Like, you seem like such a goody two-shoes guy. You're out there helping kids. You're kicking your leg after a mediocre set. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Like, what is something uh, sort of, like, naughty about you? You have any, like, pet peeves or anything? Uh, like, I mean, like, sort of, like, guilty pleasures, I guess, is what I'm asking. Well, I like playing video games. Oh. You, you yeah. do? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, hey. Yeah, what kind of, uh, <laughs> what kind of games? He's a counselor, not a uh, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Overwatch. <laughs> Overwatch? Okay. Overwatch? Uh, yeah. Huh. Overwatch and uh, is that like for Baywatch, but for people that are over the hill? Yeah, shooter. It's a shooter game. I'm 43, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How about what else other than video games? There's got to be uh, something. You ever like kick a puppy or anything oh like that? Oh man, <laughs> no, not a, no, no. Come on, nothing ever. You've never done anything. You never uh, killed a baby bird. Wow, a grown <laughs> bird. You've killed car, a grown bird? Yeah. With what? The windshield of my car was like a hot Wow, that is yeah. a horrible way to fucking to smash somebody yeah. with a windshield of a car like oh. that. It's such a horrible way to kill a bird. Anyway, uh I feel like we've overwatched this guy. Yeah, I think that's about it. I agree with you. Funny enough, I was just gonna say that. Dan, congratulations! How about, how about we congratulate Dan on having the balls to sign up for this show? It's his first time ever. And let me say something, by the way. Let me say something, by the way. I want you guys to have all the fucking fun in the world. I want you guys to laugh and, 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 and be in the moment and everything. But I heard some people yell boo and fuck you during that. Look, if you didn't have the balls to sign up and put your name on a piece of paper here tonight, you don't have the fucking right to say anything out there. You guys are either laughing or not laughing or groaning together or doing something, but I don't want to hear any of you verbalize fucking words out there. Yeah, bitch asses. <laughs> yeah, you bitch asses. Uh, you know what? Fuck the bucket. Let's bring up a big ass fucking... Oh, shit. I should just point. Uh, let's go back to the bucket one more time then, shall we? No, let's do this. Let's do this all the way. Um, one of the people that uh, we brought with us... Uh, all the way from Los Angeles here today is a Kill Tony legend, a Kill Tony icon. Um, you've listened to him for years now, believe it or not. For uh, If you've listened to all this show, you've been listening to this guy for over five years. He, he's never been able to do a road episode with us. He, and so many people sign up in Los Angeles nowadays every Monday at the comedy store that, you know, the odds of someone just getting randomly pulled go down tremendously with a, when there's more names in the bucket. This is one of those guys that I wish we got to see more of. You know him. You love him. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the king. Mikey McKernan, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. San Francisco, what's up? Are you ready for this? Because I am. Great to be here. Oh, my God, I love this city. First time I came to the city, I unfortunately found the ghetto on accident. Yeah, I parked in a sketchy neighborhood. It was so sketchy, all the walls were covered with charcoal techniques. 
Yeah, I was like, I better Van Gogh. <laughs> Boo, ha, ah, art. <laughs> hey, hey, you think Picasso grew up in an etchy neighborhood? Cube, ha, ah, cube, ha. Ah, cu <laughs> I was just voted intellectual's least favorite comedian on the dark web. Thank you. I was interviewed, they're like, what's your stand-up comedy like? And I was honest, I said it's like my lovemaking. I got tiny bits. Boo, ah. Uh. Fuck yeah. The king of the boo-ha, Mikey McKernan. Mikey, let's not waste any time. How Thank about you. you just come join panel for the rest of the show, huh? Yeah. Boom. Love it. That fast. I can Back see to the going. bucket we go. You guys ready for this shit? Mikey McKernan is here. So if anybody gets to say boo, it's him. Good job, uh, Mikey. Thank you. <laughs> yes, great set, by the way. Thank you. That was fun. I didn't even really get a chance to tell you. Ah, this appears as though it might be. I hope I'm not wrong about this, and it's just a, uh, a, like a, a, a worldly name. But this might be the first uh, female pulled out of the bucket here tonight, it appears. Make some noise for Kayla Keller. <laughs> Kayla Keller? Hey, here she comes from back there. It's Kayla Keller. Fuck yeah, you guys. Get some vagina on the stage. Yeah, I went to Planned Parenthood recently. It's a Planned Parenthood in the city. It's very classy. It shares a parking lot with a Burger King. Like all classy places do. There's a billboard someone spent tens of dollars to put up. It says if you park in the Burger King parking lot, you go to Planned Parenthood, we're going to tow your car. I was there getting an IUD put in. Very responsible. Went to the Burger King afterwards, letting that shit marinate, letting the copper soak in, eating a Whopper Jr., dipping that shit in the honey mustard sauce, the free honey mustard. Don't pay 50 cents. Fuck that shit. You're an adult. Don't do it. A girl walks in. She's like, well, what happened to my car? The lady's like, we towed it. She's like, yeah, well, I was next door getting an abortion. And the one's like, you should have bought a fucking hamburger. Because in this town, it doesn't matter how expensive it gets, you cannot gentrify a Burger King. Their whole life is an abortion. <laughs> they don't want to hear about yours. I want to believe it's just a pro-life tow company, just a dude with a Folgers single packet and an awkward mustache, crucifix hanging from the rear view like $500 should have kept that baby bitch. Wow, all right. Okay. First of all, I actually have, I have good, uh, yeah, that's, we have the sound of the abortion that happened. Uh, <laughs> yes, they, they whip it out of the uh, woman. That's <laughs> yeah. how they do yeah. it. <laughs> Indiana Jones it or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, Kayla, that was fun. I love the uh, shit about a fucking burger, bitch. Like, that's just great. I would say move that up and save the sauce thing for a different thing. I don't think you need all that. Okay. And I'm so, I was sort of wondering... Well, logistically, it's like a lot of jumping around, and I just I wanted to get to that. Like, I knew you were going to end up getting at a towing joke or something like that. So it's like the sauce and all that. Yeah. Plus, I don't know how do you how get do you get free sauce? Yeah, how do you yeah, get free sauce? I just love the free honey mustard. It's close to my heart. Yeah, but how do you do how it? Do I get it? You just you order, and then afterwards you go. By the way, I need honey mustard. They're not going to re ring you up. Ah, oh, you go that's to a, a good tip. you got to do. I mean, come White on. White privilege. They don't, yeah. All right. You make it work where you can, man. Free abortion <laughs> hey, and free honey I mustard. Think, I think that the Planned Parenthood near the Burger King should have a sign that says, have it or don't have it your way. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. He has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Joel Berg is definitely on the drums right now. <laughs> Drinking water without letting the bottle touch his lips for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and oh stopping the symbol with his feet. How many abortions have you had? Wow. Zero. That's what the IUD is for. Right, right, right. You can do that or have a baby in you. Yeah, That's Brian God's thinks that abortions society. cry and come out with whips, so yeah. he doesn't really understand what's well, happening. Well, he did. Whoa. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Okay, Kayla. Uh, <laughs> free, free. Don't, don't be mean. Don't be mean. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, so, Kayla, you did, uh, you did, uh, you've been doing stand-up for a while? A year and a half. year and a half. Yeah. And uh, this is your first time on Kill Tony. This is my second. I was at Punch oh, with y'all. Oh, you call it Punch yeah. instead of Punchline. I, yeah. <laughs> because some things are just so fucking hard. I like that. Yeah. It's too much. Just one more fucking, you know, Too many sound letters. of your mouth. But yeah. I like A that. punch is also a style of abortion. My mouth is... Ah, oh, yeah, true. it's perfect. Oh. Wow. Wow. 
Schulberg is on fire. That's why you got to go for the punchline. <laughs> wow. Um, so is the is the Burger King good next to the abortion clinic? Are you, they ever you, good? You ever Precious afraid that, Yeah, you're ever afraid that you're eating a fucking little baby walker? I feel like that's where <laughs> chip, like the a chicken quarter fries pounder. come from. Yeah. <laughs> a, a little Mac? Yeah. All right, that's a different place altogether. A it's a whole different establishment. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's a good point, though. I thought, you know, the whole bit it was a good point that you got there. Oh, thanks. Hell yeah. Good advice. Look who's giving you a little Positive extra sauce. <laughs> uh, so I just want to braid your hair so bad. Okay. Yeah. I let you talk there, and I shouldn't I'm have. So, oh, come uh, on. You so know you you've been doing stand-up for a year and a half. What yeah. do you do for work? How do you make money? Um, I'm a mom during the day. Really? How old's so your I kid? Got, I have a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and a nine-month-old. Wow. Do so you, you ever really? take them to that Burger King? That is one yeah. of... <laughs> <laughs> the way, no abortions. abortions. Yeah. You have one of the worst IUDs I've ever heard oh, of yeah. in my <laughs> life. <laughs> That's why I've got one I mean, now, yeah. Too little, too late, huh? <laughs> Fucking three babies, basically nine months apart. Yeah. yeah you, did you get an IUD or a DUI? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My God. Yeah. <laughs> Little I mean, freaking wow. <laughs> Look. Wow. Wait, how old are you? I'm 28. <laughs> wow. When was your first baby? Uh, no. Well, th- she's three, so. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Now, she, wa- now she wants to D.I.E. Oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Well, Kayla, you like having kids? Yeah. Yeah. You trying for more? You still getting letting your uh, man blast away inside of you? No, I'm, I'm dating a 23-year-old, yeah. You're dating a 23-year-old? Yeah, wow, I you left the baby daddy? Oh. Yeah, yeah, Holy yeah. Shit. You got to move on. Well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure that uh, I'm sure the way that you make babies, he was probably ready for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he was, he was uh, tabbed out. He was tabbed out. Yeah. Wow. So that, what, what, what was his story? Was he an older guy? No, he's my Well, I mean, he's my it's age. your age. Yeah. Right. You were with him a while? or Yeah, for like eight years. Eight years. And then three years ago, you're like, fucking blast away inside me. Let's make human beings. Yeah, this is going to last for a long the time. The world is ending. Chip, how old's you your go. youngest kid with that guy? Uh, she's nine months old. She's nine months old. Yeah. So how long ago did you leave him? Uh, like almost nine months ago nine months ago yeah. that's incredible so the baby came out you're like i want another young person inside of me yeah exactly <laughs> you get this 23 year old <laughs> just let him fucking you gonna let him start oh i like that <laughs> thank you wow i'm getting respect tonight i like Great. this feels different than what uh, <laughs> some people like to give me oh you boy fuck mathematically that's one of the best jokes you'll hear tonight <laughs> yeah yeah Give you a high so. rating all right. Well, I mean, that's so interesting. So how long have you been with the 23-year-old? For uh, almost nine months. Almost nine yeah, months. Wow. wow. The old switcheroonie. I'm sure you really waited for the other guy to get out before you started banging the 23-year-old. We know so, how you women yeah. like to work. You never like to have one thing lined up before the <laughs> next. Yeah. So, so uh, my question is, uh, does the 23-year-old know that you have three children? He's <laughs> aware. Yeah, he, I call him teenage stepdad. Like I'll go, I'll go in the room wow. and they're all in the bed together and they're like, we all need snacks. I'm like, you all need snacks. How does one of you make me horny? How does this work? Wow. So you're yeah. y- you're raising four losers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, is is your uh, is your uh, new guy is he uh, successful? Is he rich? He's or are a you comedian. <laughs> oh no. wow! Yeah. What did I say? No. Did he sign up tonight? Yeah. Oh, She's shit. here tonight. Wow. Where are your three kids right now? They're at home with my mom. Oh. She's an indentured servant at this point. Wow. Dude, yeah. if you're in here, get a vasectomy tonight. Dude. <laughs> Tie your balls. I feel like this chick just wraps her legs around you when it's time. She's like, stay in me. Yeah. <laughs> Kayla, we got a lot of bucket to get through. It was so nice to meet Good you. Job. Thank you so much for coming on. There Thank she goes. You. Kayla Keller. We are off and running. Back to the bucket we go. How about that shit? One more time for Kayla, everybody. Come on. Her kids are with her grandma right now. 23 and three kids. No, she's 28. Yeah. 28 and three kids. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. All right. How about John Callahan, everybody? Here we go. San Francisco zone. Guarantee it. 
John Callahan. Taking his time. Come on up here, John. One more time for John Callahan, everybody. So I'm not even uh, from San Francisco. I'm actually from Corning. Probably most of you never heard of it. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, you probably heard of Chico, though. Like we're basically about 30 minutes away. The place I'm from, more like a truck stop, I guess. It's got. I mean, just we were in Japantown when we showed up, and I was like, oh my god, dude! Like this store has more people than our town does. Like it's ridiculous. And then, um, yeah, I worked at one of the truck stops. I rode my bike to work, and the maintenance guys, they go around, we fit about 150 trucks in the back. And, well, they decided to switch out my seat with a dildo they found in one of the trash cans. I was just wondering who put their hand in and grabbed a trash, like, dildo. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, I mean, people got hookers and stuff. Oh, like... We call them lot lizards. That's Hell yeah. All right. John motherfucking Callahan. Look at the hockey smile on this guy. <laughs> it, Mikey it's McKernan wasting no time. Fuck yeah. It. Getting right into the fucking... Man, they, they, hitting it right at, right from the beginning. This, well, well, I mean, when you grow up with your parents being like, basically, our family ran like the drug trade in Tehama and Butte. Oh, Tehama and Butte. So I didn't know Butte. anything about. I I never did drugs, but I never knew anything about like a dentist. Like what the. Wow, fuck the way that? San Francisco likes to recycle, I didn't think we'd see a pile of trash like you up here tonight. <laughs> No, I'm ah. kidding. I like I like your style. I, I and by <laughs> style I do not mean smile. I said style. Uh, he, you well, are the fu also, you are the funniest picnic blanket we've ever had. On this <laughs> show. Is, is Japantown a real place out here? Or is it? Hi, Japantown. Hi, that sounds fun. This guy's I, a, that just sounds like something uh, racist people would call it. Hi. I'm hungry. What do you think? <laughs> go go around that J Japan town, get hey. some uh, chicken. Let's go to Orientalville. Hey, yeah. This guy looks like a lumber crack. <laughs> <laughs> lumber stack of pancake. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I mean, it is. Uh, what do you do for work now, John? Uh, I work at Walmart. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's not that. Good. I hope not as the greeter. <laughs> I only did that when I broke, when I fractured my ankle. I actually For those of you listening to the podcast or watching the YouTube, because I'm sure you can't tell, uh, he's got fucking like, I mean, like, uh, like, uh, actually, you know. Actually, this one that I have. Oh, shit. Uh, Don't, shit. Touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah. Don't touch it. Don't touch that one. It's not just even fucking, I, I cannot have that fall out. Well, then again, maybe we should just do it, dude. This is Kill Tony Mania. What do you guys say we pull well, this guy's last fucking He just did. He can out. take it out. Look at it, you can take it out. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, I was fucking kidding, dude. Uh, wow. For those of you listening to the podcast, you just took his one tooth out of his yeah. face. <laughs> Uh, and holy there was fucking a spaghetti shit. noodle attached. Are you are you are you jealous of the jealous of the jack o' lantern uh, bucket? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could be like him. Probably, you, <laughs> probably work a lot of haunted mazes this time of year, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Do people ever come up to and tell you that they love your fucking costume? <laughs> um, so I realistic. Did, when you go down on a girl, does it make it like Parmesan cheese at Olive Garden? Like it's just like like shredding it. <laughs> You Red look like man. you look like uh, you look like what uh, Conor McGregor would have ended up looking like if there was no referees or security at the event <laughs> on uh, Saturday. <laughs> Thank you, fight fans. That's a, I have to give my. I think that was a fucking great one because he was getting his ass beat and he would have gotten his teeth knocked out. Probably. Probably, yeah, for sure. 
Uh, so what do you do for fun, John? I'm so intrigued by you. I, first of all, let me tell you this. Well, let me ask you this. How long have you been on stand-up? This is my first time. Wow. I fucking love that, man. A puppy. You, you know, you, I fucking loved it, dude. You, you fought through it tooth and nail, mostly tooth. <laughs> uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people come up here the first time. It's like pulling teeth. You know what I mean? And, uh. You were able to come down here and really fucking bite down and <laughs> Yeah. And I love that you're talking about your fucking real life. You know what I mean? Like uh you know, I loved uh I loved Kayla's one joke, but you know, for example, like I, I would have loved to have heard more about like her real thing. She talked about having an IUD and it turns out she has three fucking kids. You're talking about being garbage the whole time and guess yeah. what? That shit's real. Yeah, I, I believe you. <laughs> I mean, like some of my some of the teeth Bad luck. Fall. <laughs> Others have been. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you just say some teeth bad luck? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I should have brushed more of them, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's more. That's but, more uh, like that. Yeah. Some of them fell out. I have epilepsy, so. Oh wow. Jesus! Now wow. I feel terrible. I thought you were just fucking white trash from a drug family. Oh, I am. Now it's not fun at all. The epilepsy, Jesus. Yeah, we were uh, hoping for no diseases. Oh, I have. Uh, he, with my he, epilepsy, I mean, I've always just thought, you know, whatever. Just, I don't care about like my friend Arturo that's here with me. He's made fun of my epilepsy since he found out I had it. So. Oh yeah, what does wow. he say about? It? What does he say about your epilepsy? Or tell us what like the worst thing that happens to you when you have epilepsy. Like wh- uh, he likes to make fun of the fact that I was like. My whole body goes to right, so I start spinning like this. No fucking way. No fucking way. How do we do this right now? (laughs) That was fucking amazing. Ryan Redman. Man, we're all just fucking showing off tonight, aren't we? Holy shit. We should do these two shows more <laughs> yeah, often. Late, we came into show. this fucking warmed up, huh? That's where the creatures can you are do coming it? out. Can, you, can I see what happens with you when you have an epileptic attack yeah, one, one more, more time? time. Just, like, just one more time. It's just literally just like my eyes and everything. Like I just start feeling like, <laughs> like I'm going retarded. <laughs> Jeremiah? Uh, the, the good thing is uh, you won't bite your tongue with any teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Man. Whew, just that when I thought funny. the epilepsy was going to make it sad, everything literally took a turn for the better. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't bring that to make it sad or nothing. Like, No, I, it's great. No, we're laughing. I'm like, hey, you know, the first time I had it, I was sitting at, I was like 12, I think. <laughs> My mom said I might have had more when I was younger because she'd find me like laying out in the orchard. Or <laughs> she, she would but, lie to you? <laughs> Oh, honey. <laughs> she she wouldn't tell wait, you till you were 12? Wait, wait. <laughs> well, no. Also, wait. Was it, was it an apple orchard? Because I just picture a bunch of apples with bites taken out of them. <laughs> no, uh, Corning's the oh city of olives, so we God. do olives. Like, that's oh our thing. my god, I've never heard anything like it before. <laughs> my mom told me that she used to find me in the orchard. It's so honest. You can tell it's honest because it's yeah. an orchard. Well, no one would ever be able to lie about that. Uh. My mom said that she found me. It used to find me. Think about that. Think about how bad the parenting is, and it's a fucking <laughs> orchard. Well, no, oh, see, god, the first one. Where are you? The first one confirmed it was when I first. Met my dad at 12. My mom basically hid me from my dad. So. You fucking keep this shit up. You're coming back to L.A. with all of us. There's one seat left. We got one seat left. You fucking keep this shit up. Keep this up and you and you and you will be sleeping on Mikey McKernan's floor tomorrow. But no, like, yeah. My mom had five other kids with my dad, and then got divorced, left them with the next door lady, took off. Like, I don't, I don't even need to do an interview. Just keep fucking going, yeah. dude. 
Well, no, the thing was, like, she was with Pete, the one that was my dad. <laughs> and literally, uh, I'd like to apologize to everybody else that signed up tonight. Yeah. yeah. You had your chance the first show. But, like, yeah, so that happened, and then they got in a fight. My mom called my dad. He still loved her, so he drove up, was going to beat his ass. And then they had a one-night stand, and then uh, he didn't hear about me until I was 12. Okay. Well, Which, I mean, okay. I want the box set of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, we've literally spent 10 minutes with you, so I literally have to keep it going. But before I let you go, I'm going to do something that I've never done in the history of all of these road shows, and I am going to give you basically a golden ticket. Anytime you're ever in L.A., you get to do a spot on Kill Time. Hell yeah! Because I got go Thank you. I'm a nice dude. It's a nice dude. John Callahan, ladies and gentlemen, there he goes. That's how the magic happens, right there. Hey, you better write all that shit down, buddy. Hell yeah, dude. Write a fucking book, bro. You better write all that shit down. That's uh, that was not. That's nothing I had planned at all. It just, it only feels absolutely right to do something fucking super special for a guy like that that just keeps spewing the most honest and hilarious shit I've ever heard. That was beautiful. You you guys, you guys didn't see it, but that was so funny. Tony almost quit doing the show. Yeah. He said, I can't do this anymore. Yes. He fucking, his mom found him in an orchard. (laughs) (laughs) The parenting is so terrible. Like, not only did she, it obviously took her years to realize that her son had, of all things, epilepsy. Yeah. (laughs) To where normally, you know, people, kids are biting their tongue. Obviously, his tongue was biting his teeth. Uh, Yeah. We got to get an iPhone case for his face. What'd she tell her dad at 12? He's like, don't worry, he doesn't get that far. So, John Callahan, before uh, before you leave tonight, make sure you check in with me or Josh or whoever so that we can get your information and you can hit us up before the next time you come down to Los Angeles. It's an open invite. I don't think any of the fans of the show will be mad at me. When you run out of trashy-ass stories, we'll send you back up to San Fran. Uh, you know what? Let's do another special treat. Why not? Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I know. We're doing two and then a treat. Two and then a treat. Uh, so, um, you know, the regular ships that have happened on this show have lasted, uh, you know, over half a fucking decade. And we've had, we have a lot of amazing, amazing, amazing alumni in that group. And, you know, before we had uh, Malcolm, who's not going to be able to make it here tonight, he's actually, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, people. He actually went to, uh, he went to go see Mike Epps perform stand-up comedy tonight. <laughs> hey. Lay down. We let him do what he wants. You know, he's, I, I'm, I'm Dana, and he's Connor, and he just gets to run the roost. And uh, tonight he wanted to see Mike Epps. He's going to see Mike Epps. That's the business. Uh, but uh, shut the fuck up. What did I huh? tell you about your booze over there, huh? Huh? Boo? Huh? huh? <laughs> huh? huh? Uh, so, uh, but you do get to see another regular who's gone on to have a flourishing fucking career. She opens for some of the greatest comedians in the world. Uh, you know her. You love her. Ladies and gentlemen, special surprise. It's the one and only... Sarah Weinshank. Oh, baby, I like it, boy. Yeah, baby, I like it. What's up? I found a cure for my insomnia recently. I downloaded a white noise app that plays the sound of parents fighting. It sounds just like home. I'm not depressed, but sometimes I stand in front of my microwave just to shave off a few years. (laughs) My vibe is postpartum, but I haven't had any kids. I think the tar pit would be a dope name for a heroin recovery center. I feel like there probably aren't too many murder mystery dinners in Compton. (laughs) 
I think kumquat is too vulgar a name for a small orange citrus fruit. Have you ever thought someone was normal until you looked at their toothbrush? <laughs> it's like, how angry are you? <laughs> are you cleaning your grill after a barbecue? Or are you cleaning your grill after a barbecue? That's it. Boom, Sarah Weinshank. Sarah, come join the panel. Weinshank's on the panel. Boom, 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 boom. Do I, did I just good. lose volume here? Do good. I sound l lesser in the back? Okay, it sounds better. Very good. Good set. Yes, Thank good you. set. Sarah Weinshank, ladies and gentlemen. You've heard her talk about everything if you're a fan of the show. Kitchen utensils, fucking uh, drawer liners. What haven't you covered? Spatulas? Rolodex. She's Rolodex. Ooh, roll the Rolodex, look out. Can't wait roll to uh, see that one. Um, so uh, let's just keep this fun train moving along. We're flying through the San Francisco Ichabod's Bucket of Destiny. By the way, this is the actual the actual bucket. Made it all the way from L.A., if you've ever wondered. It's, it even says Ichabod on the side with his own uh, lettering. This is the official bucket. I'll be accepting $2 to pet it later. <laughs> Give it up for paper straws. Woo! Uh, Oh, they have paper straws yeah. here. Wow. I see what you did there. <laughs> All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Let's make some noise for Woo. Nick Snyder. <laughs> here he comes. It's Nick Snyder. Walking straight up. Uh. One more time for Nick Snyder, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> okay, um... So yeah, uh, hmm, where do I start? Um, so my mother is a lesbian, right? And um, so I've grown up around a lot of women, right? And um, so I've, I've observed a lot of behaviors. And um, you know, one of these behaviors that I find the most interesting, but uh, they think it works, but I know it doesn't work, is, uh, and it's not a lesbian thing, right? It, it's just can, kind of a woman thing. Um, their ability to talk shit about a woman that's standing two feet away. <laughs> just right there and like, look at her. She's just hella fake. Like, oh my God. So what a hell? Like, I, I know you're talking about her. How doesn't she know you're talking about her, right? And then when they get caught, right? They'll get caught and go, <laughs> the, the, God damn. <laughs> basically, right? Basically. Um, the, uh, finish, finish they'll it. get caught. The girl will say something like, D "Did you? Are you talking about me?" And the girl will say, "Nobody's even thinking about you." <laughs> and I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> anyway, that's what I got. There you go, Nick Snyder. Oh. Fuck yeah. How you doing, Nick? I'm doing talking to that microphone. Oh, okay, talking to the yeah. tip of it. To the tip. Okay. You can get a little bit closer. It's like, a, you're, like you're, you're, what do you, you think is going to happen there? You think it like shocks you or something? Uh, 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 app developer happen. Jeremiah Watkins. Uh, yes, the last comic with missing teeth. This comic is missing chromosomes. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Taking shots at. Uh, it appears like I don't know. I'd, I'd be nice this guy. He seems like he's he'd bully you guys in a different uh, universe. This guy seems like he's on Alpha Brain and Shroom <laughs> Tech right now. <laughs> I, I have a bully app to uh, defend me. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you got the wind knocked out of you? Whoa, oh, Nick, <laughs> Nick, stick over here, over here, Nick, over here. A little too much Gracie <laughs> jujitsu going on over there. Uh, I have urine flowing down my thighs. <laughs> 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 How you doing, Nick? I'm doing good. Uh, you been doing stand-up a while? No. This is your first time? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Awesome. Very good. Very good. There it is, the goat of the first timers. Uh, so, uh, Nick, you seem like a really, really like tough guy. Am I picking that up right? You a former soldier or something like that? No, former drug addict. Oh, okay. Uh, What's your drug sense. of choice? Meth. Really? Yeah. Wow. I so you're a former soldier of the drug war. Yeah, and the demons and the shadow people. Wow. How long you been doing meth for? Um, it was kind of off and on, strong. So, uh, mostly on a few years yeah. and then off and then another few years. Uh huh. Wow. Dude, the guy with no teeth is so jealous right now. He's like, 
<laughs> He's like, you. Damn, this is a great fucking episode. I mean, this is just such a fucking unbelievably comedically I like, strong I, show. I, I like how you're standing like it's like a spelling bee or yeah. something. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Very defensive. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my Your god! Your word is meth. On. The double arms behind the back. Like what is going on back there? He, he, what are you doing? Breaking out of handcuffs right now? I, I don't Jeremiah, know. Jeremiah, the app him. developer, go ahead. Uh, yes, he looks like he's part of uh, the USMC United States Meth Corps. <laughs> 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 Hua. <laughs> or Hua. as Mikey would say, Bua. Bua. Uh, so, uh, Nick, when's the last time you did meth? Uh, March <laughs> 7th, 2015. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. I fucking love that, man. Congratulations. I did, it's weird. You got clean when the best season of Breaking Bad came out. That's so bizarre to me. Do you miss it? Like, do you ever, like, sit there and just want to... Jesus, Red Band, what the fuck? Of course he misses it. It's fucking meth. No, I mean... (laughs) What are you talking about? It was the meth of time and the worst of times. Wait, question. What were your favorite activities uh, to do on meth? Sorry. Uh, Tweak and freak. What What does that mean? Tweak and freak? That's like (laughs) sex? That's like focused fucking. Wow. Damn. (laughs) Hell yeah. So Tweak and Freak on a leash. That was the first time we saw his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Tweak and Freak. Like, what is focused fucking like? Like, what does that make <laughs> you feel like? I don't, I don't really understand. Uh, like, I'm always trying to focus on things when I'm fucking that w- are going to help me not come so fast. Like, it's like, what is your you focus? You should try it. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, yeah. I think wow. I'm good. Actually, I have to drive us all back to Los Angeles after this. So if so you, you have any, uh, yeah, I think I might be down. Um, so, uh, <laughs> wow. So uh, describe to me a little bit better. I never got an answer out of you on focused fucking. What does that mean to you? Can you give me an example? Oh, man. It's, uh, I don't know. You it's, it's whenever he takes one of the top young rising comedians in a back room, <laughs> hey, yeah. rapes him, and claims it at... All right, all right, all right. Very good. Um, So, uh, all right, well, you're not really descriptive. I'm trying to get something out of you out of this focused fucking thing. What makes focused fucking more fun than regular sober fucking? Because you're focused. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, do you mean that you... know what? (laughs) That was such a smart answer tonight. I am going to try meth for the very first time. If anybody has any, I'll smoke it right now. How about that? Kill Tony Mania. Let's ruin my yeah. life. Come on. Let's do this shit. Let's, let's Tony, no, no, no. Right. It just, it just means he, d- he does right. it and then he fucks in a Ford Focus. Ah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. T- tweak and free Kill Tony Mania 2018, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like No, Sarah, here. no, you're not doing <laughs> math tonight. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, Nick, uh, what helped you get sober? Just in case if there's any listeners out there that are uh, into uh, tweaking and freaking and whatnot. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you just got to hit bottom. You just got yeah. this done. What yeah. was your bottom? What, what, what happened to you? Yeah, like did he look like me? <laughs> yeah, I did. The bottom that you hit? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Hey, let me spell it out for you guys. I didn't get it the first time. I can make fun of myself for seeming gay, you yeah. assholes. So what, 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 when did you know that you hit bottom? Um, when I couldn't get bus money to get down to the tenderloin. Damn. Wow. What were you gonna go do in the tenderloin? Whatever I wanted. What's Whoa. the tenderloin? Oh, you have time? It's the ghetto. What the fuck was that? What wow. is going on here? Oh, the Ta- San Francisco ghetto. No, 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 oh no, no, no. wow. What, what is it? What is there there? A Hyatt or something like that? Oh, it's a oh, it's the ghetto of San Francisco. Oh, the four star hotels and oh, people with part time jobs. Tony, it's the wishing tunnel. It's the <laughs> it's the Walking Dead down there. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Last right me again. Humans. Ask me. Right, well, I mean, if this is what their b- bottom-hitting Walking Dead looks like, I asked him earlier if he was a goddamn American soldier. Let, let, let's let's Professor just Professor Jeremiah. I let, mean, let's let's just developer. yeah. Let's just say I've had the wind knocked out of me down there a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep flying through this bucket. There he goes. Hey, man, make some noise for this guy's first time ever. 
Hey, great job, dude. Come on, one more time for this guy. His first time ever. Uh, okay, uh, let's go back to the bucket again. You guys get it, right? You're having fun, right? Come on, I, I, I can't let, I cannot let you guys get away with that. You guys are having some fun noise. out there, right? Late There's show. no shortcuts out there, all right? If we, if we have to use our fucking energy to think of crazy shit, then you guys can yell and scream like animals when I ask you to. Deal, right? Wow, okay, that's ineligible handwriting. I mean, that's just sad. That's that's no, impossible. no, no, it's impossible. That's, no, that's it's impossible. pointless, It Jeremiah. looks like Myrtle Beach. Jeremiah yeah. can If you write it. like that, then, you, then, then you're never going to get anywhere anyway, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Hey, that should be a new rule. Like, we should do no, that. It never happens. That's the first time ever where there's a name that's just that bad. Yeah. It did it for attention or something Maybe like they're that. hieroglyphics. So I'm not going to give it to them anymore, so I'm going to read Matt, another name. Matthew. Make some noise for Sam Stockwell, everybody. Sam Stockwell. Yeah. Good handwriting. Sam Stockwell. Sam, 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 where are you? Uh, Going once. Uh, oh, he's Sam coming from balcony. the balcony. Oh, he's Whoa. coming from the Here old he is. We Abe got him. Lincoln booth. Run! Run! Sam Stockwell, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Didn't really think this would happen, but what's up, San Francisco? I'm Sam. I'm a white rapper. Uh, we all know one of those. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Like, it's 2018, and you still got to say that shit. Like, imagine I had any other hobby, profession, hobby if you're going to be a dick about it, and I'm just like, hey, I'm Sam. I'm a baseball player, a white baseball player. Like, you know, the only difference I could really see between hip hop and comedy is in comedy, you bomb, you're done, it's over. Good luck next time. In hip hop, you suck. You're signed, man, come on. Time to get some face tattoos, you know? I can't do that shit. My skin, it's soft and sensitive. These teardrops are real, all right? And isn't that the goal? To be real? There you go. Sam Stockwell. I like that. Hell yeah. You've been, you've been doing stand-up a while? First time. First time ever. Look at that. Goddamn puppies. How long did you... How long have you been preparing, or how long have you had that minute written? The last week. The last week. You're like, I'm going to put it all together. Are you really a white rapper? Is that true? Yeah. Uh, like, well, are you part of a are you part of a group or anything like that? Or you, what's your what's your rap name? I know it's not Sam Stockwell. <laughs> it is not Sam Stockwell. Yo, y'all ready for this? Is it is it sad Sam? Can I do it? Sam Stockwell. Can I do a sixteen for you, Tony? Uh, what's a sixteen? Sixteen bars. Sixteen. Sure, sure. Let let's hear it out, Sam. Right. Go right ahead. Here he is, right. San Francisco's very own Sam Stockwell. I wreck any set that I step in. I wreck him. My word is my weapon. Don't push me. I'm stressing, digesting a state of psychosis. Awaken hypnosis. They amp up the dosage and can't break my focus. I'll sit in the lotus and wait. Twisting these verses. I swear it's like bait. Swear it's like bait for the hate. Kept on mute. I'm mutating the booth and awaken those waiting on proof. And we staging a coup. Taking back everything that was taken from you. <laughs> Let's kick it. Wow, that was pretty fucking incredible. You know, that's, that was that's, good. that's an amazing, it's so fun. You know, I fucking love rap. You know, it's fun that this, we have the type of show where we can meet someone like you and uh, have that happen. You know, come all the way to San Francisco with 12 of my favorite lackeys to get impressed by a guy <laughs> with tight khakis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know. Come up here and have fun with uh, my friends on the panel just so that I can look at a white rapper in a flannel. <laughs> can I say one thing? Sure, go right ahead. So your band was describing the modern 
guy these days, and my girlfriend's looking at me like every check on the list, she's just laughing at me because I, ha- I had the Prius, the man bun, the tight pants. Oh, it was oh you're talking about Reagan and Watkins, uh, 21st century boy and girl. What is it? Wow, that's, that's deep, that's deep, deep fucking cut. Yeah. One could almost say that they, we've gone to Coldberg. You know, ten more. Uh, if oh, I'm a just lot trying of people. To pr- hold on, Joel. Hold on. Oh, he was I'm, fact checking. I'm just trying to promote my friend's album. It's a little oh, bit I'm inside sorry. baseball. Blog it. You're yeah. referencing a song that I don't even think's come out yet. And uh, when it does, they'll be waiting for <laughs> it. <laughs> Does, uh, a a little fun fact. Sorry, I just want to get this out just so that everybody remembers and knows. If uh, if Joel ever misses 10 jokes in a row, he has to get a tattoo of my face on his face. So. What? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> being a white rapper, does, does it suck nowadays for you? Because, I mean, like uh, you, you hinted at that in your material, and it has to. Like it's It comes up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like the... People will hear my music and be like, yeah, I want to collab. And then, okay, hit me What's up on Facebook. Ra- and they're like, oh, I don't know if I want to collab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, what's your rapper name? It's Dismissfit. Dismissfit. How like, do you spell that? Dismissed and then F-I-T. Dismissed with an E-D at the end? Uh, D-I-S-M-I-S-S-E-D-F-I-T. Wow, that's such a bad rap name. <laughs> I know. Yeah, dude. Change your name, dude. What do you uh? What's uh, what is any, is that any of that available on anything or anywhere? It's yeah, like it's people? on Spotify. Spotify, yeah. dismiss fit. Yeah. Have you ever heard thought a hundred thousand plays recently on Spotify? That's great. Wow, man. That's great. fuck yeah! You keep that up, you're gonna be performing in Japan Town in no time. Japan Town. <laughs> Can't wait. Hell yeah, dude. Well, congratulations hey. on your uh, on your first time ever uh, on stage, <laughs> and you know. Keep talking about what's fucking real to you, dude. That's it. And I've heard. I'll, I'm gonna even give you this one. Is like I've heard a lot of jokes about you know Takashi Six Nine and things like that. But yeah, exactly. I really loved how you made it about yourself. And these teardrops are real. And I'm telling you, it's my favorite version yeah. of those jokes. And all the other jokes that I heard, by the way, are done by comedians that are getting paid and making money doing that. And that's immediately my favorite white rapper joke. And it came from you on your first night ever. Something you, you wrote this percent. week. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, keep it up. There he goes. That's good. Yeah. Sam Stockwell. Yeah. Uh, how about another? Uh, how about another special treat? You guys like special treats? It seems like you do. Uh, this young man is uh, truly probably the greatest ever real creation out of Kill Tony. I mean, mm-hmm. he was doing stand up and working at the comedy store before we even started this podcast. He's, he's a hard guy. to follow now too. Yeah, like he's unbelievably hard to follow. I take him on the road a lot and have him feature for me any chance that I can because uh, he's a fucking stone cold killer. He's gotten open for Joe Rogan. He's part of like a big fucking you know, machine coming up. He's on the same sort of pathway that I was once on of working at the store and then getting people to work with you and fucking killing and building that reputation up to the point to where you have to follow your own fucking last time they saw you. He's a monster. And I'm honored to even have him do uh, uh, 60 seconds on this show. I'm humbly grateful because he's an unbelievable comedian. He opens for Rogan. He opens for everybody. He makes some noise for the great Josh Martin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, hey, guys. Um, so you ever do things that you don't, you, you, like, you don't think and it fucks you over? Th- that has happened to me recently. I was in my car listening to rap music, and I decided to record myself rapping along with the song. And I listened to it, and it was awful. But I realized while rapping, I said the N-word <laughs> with a hard E-R. And I was like, oh, fuck. No one can ever listen to this shit. So I thought I deleted the track. Thought I'd delete it. A couple weeks later, like, I, I have a speech impediment. And I, through part of my therapy is that I send recordings to my therapist <laughs> of me just talking. And then we go over it and try to fix the way I talk. So I send a random track to her, not thinking anything of it. Next morning, she calls me. She's like, Josh, heard your track. 
you cannot rap. I'm like, oh, fuck. She's like, Josh, you cannot rap. And as, as a black woman, I don't condone the use of the N-word, but that R at the N was pretty damn good. Or there if he's working. Wow, I fucking love that. Incredible. Uh, you know what, Mikey McKernan? I only have enough room for two, ha. Huh? So why don't we Thank let Josh so take much. that spot? Mikey McKernan, you, everybody. You Josh Martin's gonna come in. Josh Martin is taking, getting in there. Get in there, Josh. That's perfect. I love this wine shank in the middle. Uh, Josh is not only a freak fucking comedian. That's such a funny new minute that even I haven't seen before. That's you know, it, I wrote it last week. And Great. San Fran, thank you for letting me do that. Hell yeah. <laughs> and a little fun fact that I did not mention uh, during, uh, during uh, his massive introduction with so many credits is that he's also, you know, one of the main producers on this very show, Kill Tony. He's been with us from the beginning, one of the backbones, doing... A lot of the fucking, you know, grunt work and the, his heart and his soul is into this show. He's, he's been such a big fan uh, and uh, help all these years. That, uh, but he doesn't get a lot of credit for it behind the scenes. So no worries, you uh, Kill Tony fans have a lot to thank Josh Martin for, whether yeah. you know it or not. And none of us would be doing this without all of you guys, so thank you to all of you. Fuck yeah, look at that. He's like the good guy in wrestling. He makes it about the audience. Yeah. It's about you guys, though. Mm -hmm. The fans. <laughs> Vote for me, 2020. He's trying to get his dick sucked. Hell yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Back to the bucket, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Back to the bucket what we a go. Great episode. It's a fucking. This might. I, I dare I say during the episode that this might be our best fucking episode ever. Until, until this name was pulled. Yeah, exactly. Right. It totally fucking over now. Make some noise for Core. It's a one-word name, everybody. Core. C O R. Wow, he's right here. Hello. Did you know that for the price of a cup of coffee a day, you could have somebody in the third world raise your child? <laughs> All right. So um, there was this rabbi who had a weird thing for fish. Um, he felt a fish. <laughs> right, but he had this more conservative friend, uh, an orthodox rabbi friend, who uh, gefelt a fish through a hole in a sheet. <laughs> and they were part of this interfaith group uh, with this priest uh, who gefelt an entire school of fish. <laughs> Did, uh, it used to be that ugly girls on dating sites used to work the angles, you know? Where they, they'd take a picture from a certain angle, but now they all use filters. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Core. How's it going, buddy? Get in that microphone. Get all up in that fucking dirty right. fucking mic. Dude, Michael yeah. Moore is funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hell yeah. Uh, Core, um, that was interesting. A lot of gefilte fish jokes there. Uh... <laughs> Uh, let's go to our senior Jewish correspondent, Sarah Weinshank. Kor, uh... I feel like you were talking a lot to us instead of to them. Mm. That's just my note. But yeah. 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 Um, I, I felt the same exact thing. <laughs> uh. I, I really liked your first joke. That, that was that was funny take on the whole thing. What was it? What was that again? The, the, you know, like, you, you like donate a cup of coffee, like, oh, we'll yeah. make this kid not die or whatever. Yeah, the ba they raise your baby. <laughs> you yeah. ship your baby out there and you give them a cup of coffee. If you very were, affordable. If you were to expand on that joke, like, uh -huh. even just, like, a couple more tags, that that's actually a legit bit. Yeah, I, like, I agree with Brian. Keep extending the gefilte fish thing for as long <laughs> as you can. Uh, Are you Jewish? I'm a Gentile. <laughs> So a Nazi. That means not Jewish. Nazi. <laughs> oh, it's a, it, really? I have no idea. Are you PC or are you Mac? 
Good question. I'm going to make you answer that, Core. Go ahead. I, Big Mac. I have a uh, MacBook computer, but I, I have an Android phone. So. Wow. Why? What the? I mean, it's not Why? exactly Whoa. PC, but Why? I'm not all Mac, I'm saying. You know. oh. PC oh. means pussy catcher, dude. Uh. <laughs> Core, is that true? Do you get laid a lot? You seem like the guy, kind of guy that... Uh, I, I that get laid occasionally. Yeah? You have a, you have a girlfriend? I do, yes. How long have you been with her? I've been seeing her for about four months. Where'd you meet her at? Uh, on the interwebs. And yeah, how where, long? Where, 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 where at on the internet? On the OK Cupid. OK Cupid. Yeah, not the match.com. Why? Why do you say that? Why do you make a point to say not the uh, match? It's just you had them as a sponsor, I think, previously. So. Oh, yeah. It's actually <laughs> way better than that one. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> totally, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, now I totally horrible. remember what you were talking about. Yeah. yeah, so yeah there's, uh, uh, I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to talk about hours or something. I don't even want to talk about the place you just mentioned. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so, uh, is there anything different about the girl that uh, you've been seeing that was different from her original profile or like description? No, she was pretty pretty honest about who she is. No, you didn't get the gefilte kef catfished. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I knew when I said, I knew the second I said that this may be our best episode ever. It's just like, my brain's just like, Sh shut down everything. Ooh. We've done our job here. But I, I did just come from her husband's birthday party. <laughs> what? His <gasps> Get the fuck oh, out of here. You're the, the Bay piece? Area. Man, there's something fucking fishy going on over here. Wait, you're, you're so you're the girl's side piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it, I'm jealous. <laughs> he looks like a main course. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Um, I love that. Core is not the core guy. Core. Whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me just say, Core, uh. the bottom half of your outfit's like business casual, which yeah. I like. The yeah. top half is like hot topic y. It's not consistent, but it's interesting nonetheless. I love that you think his bottom half is business. Control. I know. What I the would, fuck is that? I, like, would, I would call that autistic. Super casual. Yeah. Autistic. I'd say it macaroni yeah, no, wait, cheese. Sorry. It's autistic casual is what I meant. Core, what do you do the, for work? The uh, I um. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> fuck that. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you said that you're fucking uh, a married lady, Are huh? Wow. So are you, are you so fucking a husband also? No, no. No? You're not you're, you're not, not like the gimp? You're not No no. <laughs> you're not fucking cucking it in the corner? No. It's just uh, you know no <laughs> Wait, this lady that's married, does she have three kids ages three to nine months? <laughs> are you the fucking wait and are, no are you teeth. the twenty three year old? And no teeth. Do you yeah. tweak and freak? <laughs> On a good day. No, I Look at how fat I am. I'm not obviously that. Wow. Tweaking uh, and freaking. Are out. you a guy who's always on top or always on the bottom? I mean, shake it up, man. Just Life shake it up. Short. What are you talking about? Fucking shake and bake? Shake it up. <laughs> That's right. Do you, do you fuck her at her place or does she go to your place? I mean, I'm not going to go into details and stuff about it. Why? What the fuck? You already <laughs> said the biggest detail. She's married. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Who cares? Who cares where you're fucking? But we there, know it's not you, in a phone booth or anything is, like that. There is fucking going on at places, yeah. What kind of places? Home, yeah. Homes, hotels. Oh. So, yeah. ho so hotels. <laughs> Has her husband ever been home while you've been doing it? No, but he is home sometimes when I come over to hang out. You know. What? So it's not like a secret. That's not like a secret thing, you know? Of course. So you go, go over there, you hang out with them as like a friend of the couple, and he doesn't know that you're fucking his wife. No, he knows. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Woo! Kill Tony Mania 2018! <laughs> Woo! Wow. Are they here tonight by any chance? I saw you get up from over here. Right, right. back there. No, I'm just kidding. They're not here. Wow. They're not here. Wow. I was really excited for I was going to make the three of you fuck. They're, they're at his birthday party right now. <laughs> I mean, it's, his birthday it's still right going now. on right now. Yeah. His birthday's right now. 
the party is. Uh, all right, we're all going. Dude. Did, so they're at a birthday party right now, like right this second. At this moment. It's probably Do you think there's any down. chance we could call them on speakerphone and ask them a couple questions? All right, if, if he actually does this, you have to be quiet. Don't laugh or anything. Hold uh, it in. And oh, oh, he's fucking doing it. Fuck yeah. Put that right up to the bottom of that shitty Android and turn speaker the volume phone. up. Hey, this is a, a good Android. Turn it up and put it on speaker. Good Android. It's ringing. There's no you know, such thing. I don't hear it ringing. I'll you have to put up. it up to it. I, hang on. Come on, what are you doing, dude? Come on. <laughs> Jeremiah's getting the info. Uh, do you need any help with that? or? <laughs> He knows how to use it very well. You want to use my iPhone XS Max? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I just I got hard, dude. I don't know. Just go through. Let me try. He's a poor signal right now. We're working on it. Go through. We'll give you the fucking Wi-Fi yeah, code yeah. for this, buddy. I have some questions for this kinky couple. He has two. Uh, he has two unread Facebook Messenger messages as well. Is that <laughs> He's just calling a deli. Is that an option for OK Cupid? Hold on, everybody, quiet. <laughs> Hi. You've reached Adrian. Hi. Who's the machine? Okay. I saw I saw the number. It's just a sex hotline. (laughs) 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 All right. All right, Cora. Well, we gave it our best effort. Thanks for uh, being so honest and cool. And uh, thank you. I ask you. Did I ask you how long you've been doing stand up? I did two open mics in the late 90s. Hell yeah. Who's the <laughs> <laughs> well, that your Gefelta fish references are still holding up strong. There he goes. One more time for Cora, ladies and gentlemen. Wait. Wait. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah, thank you. Two open mics in the late 90s? That was amazing. <laughs> What's their last name? Amazing. <laughs> Wow, uh, that was fucking incredible. We almost talked to... Uh, that would have been great. Uh, yeah, that would almost happen. Uh, if it wasn't for that goddamn Android. We don't fuck him, he just cleans up. Yeah, we would have gotten to the truth. We would have we gotten to the core of this whole story. That's his name, Core, remember? <laughs> Back to the bucket we go. You guys having fun out there? That's, that sounds lovely. Make some noise for Tim Walker, everybody. Here we fucking go. Tim Walker. Tim Walker. Anybody see movement anywhere? We can have our first blacklisting of the night. Could happen. Uh, do we have our first? Hold we on, have our first blacklist. Hold on. Or we? I won't know if I don't find out. Uh, you guys see? Did you guys see movement up there on that balcony at all? Nope. nope. Blacklisted. That's it. First black. There's no list. Tim Walker. That's blacklisting. Wow. Back to the bucket we go. That just means somebody else has a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Kiter Bain, Kiter Khan, Bainick. <laughs> Fucking handwriting in this city is unbelievable. Because everyone texts out here. If your name is Kiter, K A I D E R. Wow. K A I D E R or anything like that. Bape Bane. If wow. your Twitter is Umar Khan. Double blacklisted. That's Umar crazy. Khan. You're Umar oh, wait, there Khan. Is. You're Umar Khan. Come on All up. Right. Here he is. I went to get my first happy ending massage the other day, and I was. Uh, I was driving over there, and um, I stopped to get gas, so I go to the gas station, and as I'm about to leave, I see those Rhino 9000 pills. I was like, yo, you know what? Let me get my money's worth. So I grab one of those, and I get there, and um, I'm getting my massage. I'm, you know, she's, she's really working my butt, and I didn't understand. I was like, yo, we know this is a mutual, you know, you know what I'm here for. You don't have to, you know, dig your thumb up into my ass, all right? We know what, you know, this is a mutual, you know, con- contract. We know what we're here for. So she does that, all that stuff, and she turns me over, and I'm, you know, obviously I got the fucking Rhino 9000 running through me. <laughs> so, um, so she starts right away, like she doesn't, like she grabs a lotion, 
and starts right away. And then it, like, she's holding my dick like a mic, right into my dick. She's like, oh, good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, big cock. I like a big cock. And I'm just like, what the, like, I got the rhino going through me. I'm not going to come. I'm just like, all right, go to town, honey. Ah! Keep going, keep going. I want I want I want I want to hear the finish of this, uh, <laughs> fucking. Go, and I, I'm just laying, I was like, you know what? I fucking gamed the system. I'm just laying back. I got my arm back like this. She's like looking at me, like smiling, like, okay, hurry the fuck up. She keeps going and going. And I was like, I'm chilling. The thing said no headaches. So I'm, you know, I'm relaxed. <laughs> I'm just chilling. She's just going to town. I mean, is there a, is is there, is is there an ending coming? Okay. Is this a fuck? What is this? A Spielberg movie? What's uh, happening right now? Just fucking so tell us the end. She switches hands like three times, and when I finally bust, she's like, "Ha!" Oh, like she like literally wiped her head of sweat because she was tired. No. That was the end. That was wow. <laughs> <laughs> In That's my all I had. No, it was. It was. I mean, it was okay, dude. Is that a true story? Yeah, it is. What ethnicity uh, was the girl that was sucking your dick? She was white, actually. So that's kind of really? No, she was Asian. She was a, no, it was hand huh? job. Then why the Asian accent? Like, no, I was, what, I uh, was what, what ethnicity are you? Pakistani. Man, Pakistani, dude. I, th- I thought he looked like a stoner, somebody who throws rocks at women in the <laughs> Middle East. <laughs> Wow, Pakistani, that is incredible. Like, uh, what, what was so? Uh, d- does hate flow through your veins? <laughs> Honestly, did it, when, he, you, when, he, <laughs> when he, you came, uh, when you came in the white girl's mouth, were you like, "Happy 9/11"? I actually said, I actually said he, "Allahu Akbar." He's a real, he's a real Kamal Nanjiani. Oh. <laughs> what? What's that mean? Uh, it means no worries. Red band. I'd rather hear wow. about core sex life than, than it's, this. It's really oh. weird for me to, because uh, I've been very vocal about rhino boner pills for maybe the last five years, about God. going to massage parlors. The voice of a nation. And taking oh. them, and I have a whole bit about it. Oh, so shit. it's really oh, weird to see like right. somebody Nobody else nothing. is allowed to talk about no, boner no, pills no, no, but when you, no, when you when you mention the exact brand of boner pills oh. that I've been talking about for five years... The most popular, but, but what, what I thought, what, what is not, but what what I thought was weird about it is that you kept on mentioning the brand of boner pill, but had nothing to do with the joke. Is this? Are you sponsored oh. by Rhino? <laughs> <laughs> we, because, also, have you? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you. Instead yeah. of using boner pills or anything like that, have you ever thought about rubbing some CBD on it? <laughs> and uh, because right now you use the code Tony15 and you get 15% off any purchase. InfiniteCBD.com. That's I N F I N I T E CBD.com. Uh, uh, question for you. Do, you: do you have to go to massage parlors? No, I was just. You look, you're a good looking guy compared to all the guys we had on the show tonight. Yeah, it's you true. You might be the best looking guy it's true. on the show. And you, have the, and you have the most teeth out of anybody that we've had on tonight. Uh, how long uh, you been doing stand up, buddy? Uh, this is my fourth time. Fourth time ever. That's fucking cool. We're popping a lot of uh, interesting cherries here tonight. Because um, I uh, consider this. If still I can say something, Brian, I honestly I haven't heard that bit. Oh no, no. I mean, I'm just saying. Wow, you guys are like Hi. two rhinos facing <laughs> off right now. <laughs> if, yeah, I, I think, if I were to ask though, what is your favorite rhino number? Which number? <laughs> All right, this is getting absolutely insane. <laughs> I know. I now I no because I because I've tasted them all, and I could tell so if he's had them or not. Cause that's true. I, if he I, says the wrong number, I can attest. Okay, Brian has 69. tasted all the boners. Okay. <laughs> I've never taken. Only only <laughs> only seventy five percent of them are good. Right. I'm what? aware <laughs> there's rhinocerante, there's double rhino. There's oh, so you've never you've never had them. I've never had those ones. No. You've never had. He's never even had rhinos. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. Oh wow! Is, is it Man, a- I've never seen a Pakistani buckle under questioning without a wet towel over his face before. <laughs> Damn, dude! You fucking broke. Right. Honestly, you broke just by, then. By the way, let's get Rhino seven, seven. All right, all right, we get it. Rhino, 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 boner, 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 pee, pee, poop, poop. Let's keep it I moving. I thought, uh, along. I thought this guy was Ronda Rousey's boxing coach. <laughs> Head movement, <laughs> head movement. Oh, come God. on, champ! I forgot how fucking great that. that I, it's one of the greatest comedy things to ever happen accidentally that wasn't ever really supposed to be hilarious. Her, 
Ronda Rousey's uh, coach telling her to move her head while it's getting punched and kicked relentlessly. <laughs> head movement! Head movement! Yeah, why'd you do that? Greatest shit ever. So much better than uh, most specials on Netflix today. Um, other than Joe Rogan's. See, now it's weird. See, Netflix has such a fucking leverage hold that now it's like, oh, but we, uh, we have your friends, too. Mm. Can't make fun of our specials. Mm -hmm. And the net was a pile of fucking... Anyway, uh... <laughs> Um, so let's keep it moving along. I don't have any animosity towards uh, Netflix at all. Uh, right now, they're just buying up uh, straight white males uh, that aren't completely famous yet. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's keep it moving along here. Let's talk about uh, you. Okay. What do you do for work? Uh, I was driving Lyft and Uber while I was still in work. Oh, We're very Pakistani. Yeah. And now what do you do? And now you drive a taxi? <laughs> <laughs> no, I work at a st uh, tobacco store. Oh, wow. You have covered. Um, that is the Pakistani trifecta, my it's, friend. It's Wow. Tony, it's pronounced hookah. <laughs> <laughs> man, that is incredible. I fucking love it, man. How old are you? 24. 24. Well, let me tell you something, dude. You're out there. You're fucking living your life. You know, I mean, it sucks that you lied about taking a boner pill or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, be more honest, dude. You didn't even really have anything that you were getting at. You're just talking about, you know, boner pill and getting your dick sucked, her having a hard time. And let me tell you something. Talk about your fucking real life. Like, you are Pakistani, dude. You're 24 and you already have the balls to sign up for a show like this. You know, most of these people don't even realize that they, 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 they even have the balls or want to do something like this until their early 30s, late 30s. I mean, look at Core. What are you, a little 41? <laughs> what are you? 43. 43. Look at that well, fucking shit. Price is right. I would have ganked that shit. Wait. My point is, it's like, you know, dude, you're 24. Get better at it. Do more. Sure. Fucking when you're at the tobacco store, they, I, I mean, other than when, once your shit's already stocked or whatever the fuck you <laughs> Pakistanis do, sit down and fucking write some jokes. You know what I mean? Do your work there. Do it when you wake up. Do it when you're fucking squeezing into those pants. <laughs> those are some tight pants, those dude. Are. Jesus yeah. Christ. He, he, I was... It it, meant I, I was waiting for that to come. I, was I mean, well, not, I, I know for a fact that that is the new iPhone in your pocket. It is unbelievable. <laughs> no, Look at that fucking that, thing. That, and, and, He's dressed like you know, Link from Legend of Zelda. I mean, it's an aggressive move to wear that, that tight of a pant and then talk about getting a happy ending and then the whole thing, man. Yeah, it was a lot, man. Yeah. Yeah. Are all your pants that tight? Do you like, or like, I, or do you wear like the Adidas track pants sometimes, or like? Usually, yeah. You're dressed like you got adopted by Brendan Shaw as a child. <laughs> I had a feeling that reference would Damn, work. Damn, you room. got that right on the head. Yeah. All right, uh, we gotta keep, uh, we gotta keep flying through. There he goes, everybody. I yes. lost that name. Give me that. One more time for Umar Khan. Fuck yeah. There you go, buddy. Yes. I'm waiting for him to, like, pull a string and to just blow <laughs> up or something like that. Fuck yeah. That would have been crazy. Nice. Kill Tony Mania. Kill Tony Mania yeah. 2018, baby! <laughs> we only have enough time to go to the bucket one more time. So shall we, ladies and gentlemen? This is it. Ichabod's Bucket of Destiny will decide our final comedian of the night, and that comedian's name is Rachel D. Rachel D. Sounds familiar. Rachel D. Here we go. Hey, there oh, she is, hey. Rachel D. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, I just had a birthday. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are with me on this, but uh, I think the only person who should be getting a present on your birthday is your mom. You know, like, here, mom, sorry for wrecking your vagina. You know, like, maybe here's a male stripper, he'll wreck it better. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to talk my kid into that one. <laughs> yeah. You know, now I, had a, I just had a birthday, and people are telling me now that, I, you know, I should focus on my career, you know, and... Stop dating married guys. <laughs> Parent my kid, you know? It's a little much, it's a little much. Like, especially because that's like some 30-year-old shit. And I'm 41, bitches, you know? <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm just hoping that Benjamin Button was based on a true story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
40 is a trip, guys. I was listening to some 30-something-year-olds talk about how their sex drive was taking a bit of a nosedive. Go ahead. You and I was just thinking, just wait. Because when you're 40, you're horny all the fucking time. Like, all the time, guys. It's like I have an 18-year-old boy inside me. I'd like an 18-year-old boy inside me. I know, that's horrible. Here you go. <laughs> Rachel D, is that true that you're horny all the time? It's horrible, yeah. It is. Really? Yeah. I know, yeah. Wow. Want some rhinos? Oh. <laughs> did, you, did you hear the joke yeah, earlier? Yeah, like the there? rhino's going to attack the cougar here <laughs> tonight, <laughs> huh? Did you hear the joke earlier? Somebody had like the exact same joke on stage. No, I didn't, no. no. What, what was the joke? The, was the joke? The whole baby coming out. Like the three babies. The one girl that had the three babies said kind of the same thing. Never mind. Uh, I don't know. Um, question for you. Uh, why are you wearing Umar's pants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Rachel, have you been on this show before? Yeah. How do yeah. I know you? You've done the p- one at the punchline? Uh, no, uh, Comedy Store. Oh, okay. How yeah. long ago was that? Mm, a month ago, about oh, a month ago. Okay, back yeah. when you were, back when you were in your thirties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, how'd that go? It was fun. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. What did we find out about you? Remind us a little bit of what um, we talked about. Any of the highlights? Uh, uh, I, I'm a high school teacher. Oh, what? there you go. <laughs> Not a counselor. You're no. a horny fucking teacher. Yeah. Uh, so you teach high school? <laughs> yeah, I do. And you just said you want an 18-year-old <laughs> yeah. boy inside yeah. of you. Yeah. Um, wow, you know you, what? You're one of the girls. I actually know an 18-year-old boy, uh, <laughs> and, he, and his name is Josh Martin. And <laughs> He would happily fuck you. <laughs> it's going to be the most fun four and a half seconds of your life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait, sorry, he just came. What it's happened? over. What happens? <laughs> uh, so Rachel uh, hit man. My goodness, if I asked you if you've ever hooked up with one of your high school students, you probably wouldn't tell the truth, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what if what if we ask her, but she has to get really close so we can look really g- close into her eyes? No. Mm, I teach Jesus. out of all girls school actually. Oh, well, Brian, there you go. It's Brian's better working for everybody. on his yeah. That's okay. even sexier. Yeah. <laughs> my my hard drive. <laughs> Are you coming from your boyfriend's <laughs> birthday? <laughs> I got it. I got it. Check, check. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> I'll have to visit this moment in a second while I collect myself. <laughs> uh, okay, Rachel. So, uh, who's the uh, what's the oldest guy you've ever hooked up with? Fifty-seven. Mm, oh, wow. oh, man, why'd you do that? How much money did he have? <laughs> <laughs> Lots. <laughs> Is fifty-seven the number on the ketchup bottle? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did so you fuck a ketchup bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, uh, what class do you teach at high school? I, I teach uh, history and English. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, what grade? Please say senior. Sophomores. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And uh, did they flirt with you a lot? Like, what's the craziest thing a student's ever said to you in well, front of the class? She teaches an all-girls school, right? Yeah, I used to teach at a public school though, called public school. I had, um, oh, I, it's an I, al- yeah, I got in, I got asked to prom once by one of my <laughs> senior students. Yeah, oh. did you go? Uh, as a chaperone, but no, not as, not as the mm. date. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so you got asked by a girl to prom? No, no, that was when I was teaching coed. Oh, yeah, like ten years ago. Did oh. he only have one tooth? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had all his teeth, yeah. <laughs> Rachel, how long have you been doing stand-up? Since January. All right. Well, that's fucking fun. How cool is that? And you're having fun with it? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's a fun. lot of comedians hit on you a lot? It's yes. A, and uh, does that work out pretty successfully for them? No. No? You're not into comedians. You're what? Like fucking just young, innocent <laughs> boys. <laughs> what's, the, what's the biggest hard drive you've ever seen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe... 
maybe it was something like 350 giggity giggity gigabytes. <laughs> I told you he said it, dude. <laughs> Legend. I think that was a great set for only doing it since January. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Somebody's going to fuck her tonight. Look at that. Yeah, it's one of those high school students. I see him working ass. on his homework back there. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fucking fun. Yeah, I mean, it's great. It's one of those things to where just like I was telling the 24-year-old earlier, look, dude, you got it. You got the balls You know, to do this. You know, good for you. You can do anything. You know, 41 and like you, you seem so young and vibrant. You have a great attitude and you're positive and you're up here smiling and you're being honest with the questions and you know, a lot of people just like they can start at 24 or like, you know, 14 or 15, like Chappelle and, uh, you know, Eddie Murphy and things like that. Some people, you know, you start later and they fucking get great late. And if they have fun doing it, then it's all about you. This is your life and I'm happy that you found it. And that's fucking awesome that you sign up for this show and you have the balls to come up here and field these kinds of questions. There she is, your final comedian of the night, Rachel D. But well, it might be your final comedian of the night, but I don't necessarily think we should just end it there, right? I think there's one more thing we should do uh, to bring it home tonight, to sing us a little song. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a Kill Tony icon, one of your favorite humans on the planet. It is the one and the only, the real, in the flesh, Aphrodite. All the way from Los Angeles, California. Hey, y'all. I just had a birthday, too. One, two. Yep. One, two. You're good, you're good. 41. It's the one. It's not at the end. It's 41. It's the one, right? Yeah. All right, as usual, Ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I'm actually tired of these young motherfuckers. I'm 63. Okay, here we go. I left my man in San Francisco. Come on, rock with me. I on the hill, yeah. Oh, yeah, it calls to me, oh, yeah, yeah, to see those little cable cars, yeah, yeah, oh, climb halfway to the stars, that morning fall. In my chilly air, I don't give a fuck, I don't care. My love wasted, yeah, yeah. In San Francisco, yeah, yeah. Above the blue bay, bay, oh yeah. And when they see, oh, oh, yeah, when I come home to you, oh, my darling San Francisco, the golden sun, oh, it's gone. Come on, 63 fucking years old, her birthday's this week. 
Thank you. She Thank came you. all the way up with us from Los Angeles. It's the great Aphrodite. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Kill Tony Mania. Yay! Sarah Weinshank, Mikey McKernan, Josh Martin. How about one more time for the great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins. Chroma Chris, ladies and gentlemen. One more time for the one and only Joel Berg. Look at the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt himself, tonight's very own print. This is episode 301. How about one more time for the one and only Brian Redman. I had so fucking much fun tonight with you guys. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this. And you guys showed us so much love by coming out in the fucking droves. 800 fucking tickets for this crazy shit that not only is it an iconic night for all of us, but it's going to, uh, you guys actually helped us out a lot, taking this show to a whole nother level. And it's you, San Francisco, truly. I'm not pulling a Josh Martin here and just kissing your ass. This, this show, these shows tonight meant the fucking world to us. So thank you from the bottom of our cold, icy black hearts. Thank you. Good night. See ya.